Never before in the history of the United States has there been a commander-in-chief charged with executing the law who so flagrantly encourages citizens to break the law. Such is the case with Barack Obama siding with the Ferguson rioters instead of police officers and then having the unmitigated gall to shame U.S. citizens for not understanding the justified anger direct quote, justified anger, the rioters had towards law enforcement in minority communities. Oh, but it gets worse. Obama, during a visit to Chicago's Copernicus Center, it's a community center, instead of applauding the process of rule of law, further defended the rioters, whose anger, he said, was, quote, rooted in reality, unquote, fanning the flames for more rioting, justifying their criminal behavior. But just so he wouldn't look like a total revolutionary radical lunatic, he threw in a few marshmallows and he tossed them at the rioters in so many words saying he quote unquote punished them for their quote unquote criminal behavior that he called quote unquote counterproductive. <laughs> in Obama speak, this means that punishing the criminal rioters the same way he punishes the criminal illegal aliens was in order. But notice how Obama didn't say that the Ferguson rioters were doing anything wrong. He merely said their actions were counterproductive. What on earth could he mean by that? Surely it was some sort of mistake or a misquote. You know that conservative press must have been Fox News everything for Obama. No, I wish that were true. Actually, he did say counterproductive. In Obama speak, this means that he says the rioters didn't murder enough people or burn down enough police cars of presumably white law enforcement officers. Yes, you did hear it correctly. Barack Hussein Obama dared to label the criminal acts of these rioters as counterproductive. Instead of calling their actions morally reprehensible, he justified what they were doing, saying, can't get this, they were quote unquote, expressing their frustrations but apparently not well enough because their level of mayhem was counterproductive. Oh, and his speech at the community center uh, in Chicago got worse. Instead of doing his job as the chief enforcement officer in the executive branch of our republic <laughs> and having a captive audience, half of them illegal immigrants, he, instead of arresting them, you know, that'd be very efficient. How, how often can you catch that many people in one room and arrest them? No, he instead promised his audience that he would have Eric Holder investigate what happened in Ferguson to try to nail those white enforcement officers, totally ignoring rule of law and the ruling of innocence by the grand jury in Ferguson. And so how could the uh, grand jury have found that policeman innocent? Well, eyewitnesses testified that there was a 300 pound unarmed man. Yes, he was unarmed, but he's charging right at the police officer pointing a gun at him. Totally unafraid of the police officer, unafraid of the gun pointing at him. Maybe he heard a lot of Obama speeches saying he's impervious to pain or anything else because you're not gonna enforce the law. <laughs> Maybe he believed Obama's rhetoric. Well, he charged right at him and unfortunately found out the policeman didn't want to risk having his gun wrestle out of his arms and used in the temples of the policeman by this 300 man formerly unarmed person who now has the gun, so he shot him. That's what policemen do when criminals run at you and, I mean, what's he supposed to do? T take a guy's word, charge you at him, that I'm here to help you? You know, that's like the government. I'm here from the government, I'm here to help you. It doesn't work that way. Please send a link of this video to anyone you know, particularly if they're in law enforcement, letting them know that we enjoy the protections in the peace of living in a nation run by rule of law, and we don't want to support Emperor Obama, who supports criminals and criminal behavior. We don't want anarchy in the streets. We want our policemen, we love our policemen, we want them to do the jobs, regardless of the color of skin. Anybody with purple skin running at a police officer deserves to be shot if he's not stopping if he's at risk of killing that police officer, that's just the way it is. That's reality. That's rule of law. That's common sense. Need I say more?